Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hey, Wanda, did you hear about that teacher who won the lottery? Yes. I still can't believe he's going to keep teaching. Why not? He loves his job. What's wrong with that? Well, if I won that much money, I'd quit my job immediately. That's because you don't like your job. If you had a job that you really liked, you might not want to give it up. Maybe. But even if you like your job, there are so many other things to do in life. 2. Do you watch that TV game show, Phil? The one where the winner has to choose between two prizes? I watch it sometimes. Why? Well, I couldn't believe what last night's winner did. She must have been crazy. Why? What were her choices? A three-month boat trip on the Amazon River or a new car. I know which I'd choose. I'd take the car. You wouldn't believe the repair bills I have on my old car. Besides, I wouldn't be able to take three months off work. So which did the winner choose, the car or the trip? Like you, she chose the car. 3. How are you enjoying working at that new restaurant? I love it, Carl. The food's great, so it's crowded every night. But what's the money like? Oh, it's much better than my last job. The customers are so happy with the food that the tips are pretty good. But I feel bad about something that happened last night. Why? What happened? I served a group of foreigners. It must have been their first meal in this country. Anyway, they gave me a huge tip. I think they got confused with the currency. So, what did you do? Nothing. What would you have done? I would have told them the tip was too big. 4. What's wrong, Tina? You look upset. Actually, I am. I did something wrong, but I still don't know what I should have done. What happened? Well, my English teacher has a rule about cell phones. At the beginning of class, she always reminds us to switch them off. I don't blame her. Cell phones shouldn't be allowed in classrooms. Well, I agree, Bruce, but I was waiting for an important call from my parents. My grandmother is in the hospital, so I didn't switch off my cell. Don't tell me. It rang in class. Yeah, right during our final quiz. What did she do? She asked me to leave the room. I feel terrible. What should I have done? I think you probably should have explained your predicament before the quiz. This is the end of the audio program. Thank you for listening. Hey, what's going on, Eric? How you doing? Hello, teacher. How you doing? I am still sick, teacher. Oh, my God. How do you feel today? Um, more or less. I, I, I get the flu. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, is it raining where you live? Uh, yes, it's raining a little here, teacher. Wow, that's terrible. Well, I hope that you feel better. Hello? I hope that you feel better. Can mm -hmm. you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. I said, I hope that you feel better. And I now run. Yeah, yeah. Well, today is the last day of the class. So you are going to be working on the final exam. Okay. Yesterday, we finished the other sections. So we're going to be looking at the final exam, section five. We're going to go ahead and get started with the listening section. Listen to the audio, please. 
şey diyeceğim. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. Can you One. hear? Hey, Wanda, did you hear about that yes, he won the lottery? Okay. Yes, I still can't believe he's going to keep teaching. Why not? He loves his job. What's wrong with that? Well, if I won that much money, I'd quit my job immediately. That's because you don't like your job. If you had a job that you really liked, you might not want to give it up. Maybe. But even if you like your job, there are so many other things to do in life. 2. Do you watch that TV game show, Phil? The one where the winner has to choose between two prizes? I watch it sometimes. Why? Well, I couldn't believe what last night's winner did. She must have been crazy. Why? What were her choices? A three-month boat trip on the Amazon River or a new car. I know which I'd choose. I'd take the car. You wouldn't believe the repair bills I have on my old car. Besides, I wouldn't be able to take three months off work. So which did the winner choose, the car or the trip? Like you, she chose the car. Three. How are you enjoying working at that new restaurant? I love it, Carl. The food's great, so it's crowded every night. But what's the money like? Oh, it's much better than my last job. The customers are so happy with the food that the tips are pretty good. But I feel bad about something that happened last night. Why? What happened? I served a group of foreigners. It must have been their first meal in this country. Anyway, they gave me a huge tip. I think they got confused with the currency. So, what did you do? Nothing. What would you have done? I would have told them the tip was too big. Four. What's wrong, Tina? You look upset. Actually, I am. I did something wrong, but I still don't know what I should have done. What happened? Well, my English teacher has a rule about cell phones. At the beginning of class, she always reminds us to switch them off. I don't blame her. Cell phones shouldn't be allowed in classrooms. Well, I agree, Bruce, but I was waiting for an important call from my parents. My grandmother is in the hospital, so I didn't switch off my cell. Don't tell me. It rang in class. Yeah, right during our final quiz. What did she do? She asked me to leave the room. I feel terrible. What should I have done? I think you probably should have explained your predicament before the quiz. This is the end of the audio program. Thank you for listening. Would you like for me to play the audio one more time? Do you want me to repeat? Uh, in the number four, teacher. Number four? I don't understand. Uh, it says, according to Bruce, Tina should have told her students not to use their cell phones in class switched off her cell phone or told the teacher about her grandmother? Hmm. What is your question? And to repeat audio for the oh. answer. Oh, okay. I did something wrong, but I still don't know what I should have done. 
What happened? Well, my English teacher has a rule about cell phones. At the beginning of class, she always reminds us to switch them off. I don't blame her. Cell phones shouldn't be allowed in classrooms. Well, I agree, Bruce, but I was waiting for an important call from my parents. My grandmother is in the hospital, so I didn't switch off my cell. Don't tell me. It rang in class. Yeah, right during our final quiz. What did she do? She asked me to leave the room. I feel terrible. What should I have done? I think you probably should have explained your predicament before the quiz. This is the end of the audio program. Thank you for listening. Repeat, or you got it. Right. You got it? Yes, teacher. All right, Lisette, you got it? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's check. Number one, Eric. Number one, if Wanda won the lottery, she would quit her job. Quit her job. Quit her job. Thank you. Number two, Lisette. If Bill have the same shoes as the last night winner, he choose the new car. Choose the new car. Number three, Eric. Carl says he would have returned the big tip. Returned the big tip. Number four, Lisette. According to Bruce, Tina should have told her students not to use their cell phone in class. According to Bruce, Tina should have told her students not to use their cell phones in class. Mm. Mm. I think it's probably this one. No, number is option one. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this Option one, number one. Okay. okay. Give me a second. Uh huh. Okay. Give me just a second. Give me just a second. Okay. Okay, I'm going to uh, report that exercise uh, because the correct answer is the the last one is the correct answer. That is not the correct answer. Give me a second. All right, let's continue. OK, 
Complete the conversations. Instructions. Complete these conversations by choosing the best option. Uh, Lisette, did you finish the exercise? Yes, finish. Eric, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Mario, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, Lisette, give me the answer for number one. If your doctor told you get more exercise, which sport goal you choose? Very good. If your doctor told you to get more exercise, which sport would you choose is correct? Thank you, Lisette. Okay. Eric, B. The B is, I'm not sure, but I might go going two or three times a week. Excellent. I'm not sure, but I might go jogging two or three times a week. Number two, Mario. What will do you if you car broke down? Perfect. What would you do if your car broke down? Is correct. A, 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 all A. Letter B, Lisette. If I could afford to fix it, I would have to walk everywhere. Perfect. If I couldn't afford to fix it, I would have to walk everywhere. Thank you, Lisa. Number three, okay. Eric. Number three, if you have three months to travel, where would you go? Perfect. If you had three months to travel, where would you go? Thank you. Letter B, Mario. Oh, that's easy. I will fly to Antarctica. I always wanted to there. Excellent. Oh, that's easy. I would fly to Antarctica. I've always wanted to go there. Thank you, Mario. Ding, 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 ding. We are finished with a section letter C. I'm sorry, section B. Now we are going to section letter C. Turn out, did everybody finish this activity? Yes, Lisa, teacher. Lisette, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Eric, did you finish? Uh, no, teacher. Okay, I'm gonna give you five minutes, work as a group, and then we're going to check together. Ready? You will have five okay. minutes. Let's okay. go. ¿Será que ya puedo? No. Aquí está. Ahí están. Uh, Charles.
Our people of the night. Esa es la que a la que estamos trabajando. Sí, verdad. Yes. Sería eh, you you have to turn eh, out the light before leave. Before you leave. Y before. con con punto al final. For you. Oh. Mire okay. si le sale bien. Si no se la. One la... yes. Sí. Uh, you. You can't. Eat or drink. In the classroom. Sí. Uh, algo se poniendo mal. Quiero ver. You can eat in. Uh, you can eat or drink. Awesome. Okay, a lot is your alone. Algo estoy escribiendo mal, no sé qué es. Se la mando por el chat. Solo, no, solo voy a ponerla aquí a ver de inicio. Voy a ir. You apostrofe are. Pero puede ser también you are. No. En fin, yo lo intenté como you are y no me daba. Mm. Usted sí. Según la respuesta se puede ayudar. Yo lo hice contactado. Pero tal vez por el apóstrofe. Sí, dice que yo lo intenté como la segunda, como you are loud, pero no me lo permitía. Lo voy a intentar a ver si pasa. You are loud to take up your shoes. Ah, sí, mira, tiene razón. Sí, sí. <risa> Discúlpeme por dudar. Voy a probar así. Ajá, dele. Tal vez, tal vez el apóstrofe está poniendo otro que no es. Ajá, quizás está poniendo la tele. Sí, como es está en español, entonces. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ya vi lo que es oh. un espacio. Ah. Oh, un, un espacio que me estaba haciendo clavo ya. Ya está. Thank you. You're welcome. Y la otra la tiene. Ahí está. Yes, nosotros. Ah, bueno. Vale. Ah, me voy a dejar de compartir pantalla. Ok. Usted, usted las tiene todas, eh, Mario. Sí, sí, a finalizar todo. Ah, ok.
right, uh, let me have Diana number one, please. You have to turn out the lights before you leave. You have to turn out the lights before you leave. Very good. The next one, please, Mario. You can eat or drink in the classroom. Excellent. The next one, please, Lisa. You're allowed to take off your shoes. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's look at the last section, which is the reading. Did everybody finish this exercise already? In my case, yes. Finish. Yes, teacher. Everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, okay, let's check. Uh, people communicate with one another using work and body language. Perfect. Body language includes posture, facial expression, and gestures. Postures, facial expressions, and gestures is correct. Number three, a smile can show friendliness, interest, and sometimes politeness. Sometimes politeness. Number four, someone who points a finger at you may be angry. Angry. Angry, angry, angry. Okay, correct. All of them are correct. <laughs> okay, guys, we have finished all the activities. Applause for everybody. How do you feel? How do you feel now that you have finished? Satisfied. <laughs> and what is going to be your next mission? What is going to be your next objective? Continue, next level. That's right, that's right. And also improving uh, fluency, right? Conversation, talking, conversation, right? We're going to look at conversation questions, getting to know each other. Everybody listen and repeat. Getting to know each other. Getting, getting to know each other. other. Getting to know each other. Getting, getting to, know to know each other. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the first question. Uh, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Okay, Diana, the first question. Ask Mr. Santos the question. Who's Mr. Santos? Do That's... you have any pen? Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes. <laughs> That's my <laughs> name. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's okay. Do you have any pets? No, I don't. Next question. Next question. What was the last book you read? The last book I read was by Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, the name of the book is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Next question. Do you like to cook? No, I don't. I like to eat. Next question. 
<laughs> Next question. Have you ever lived in another country? Yes, I have. I have lived in two different countries. I lived in the United States and I lived in Canada. Oh. Next question. Wow. Yes. Next question. Okay, so this is the idea. You are going to ask and answer these questions with your partners. The objective of this activity is for conversation development. Conversation development. I would like for everybody to look at the questions in the chat. Do you have the questions in the chat? Yes. Yes. Okay. We're going to work in pairs and ask and respond to the questions. Let's go. Favorite food. So, what's your favorite cook food? Sorry. Uh, my favorite food is. I have a dog. Okay. And you? Yes, Do I had. I had many pets. Because in my house, my sister had two cats. My father had three. Cabra, como se dice en inglés? Mm. Ya le digo. Se me ha ido ahorita. Uh, my father have age each and my mom had 12 chicken and I had two dogs what was the last book you read excuse me Kevin I question two what okay. was the last book you read? Question those. Okay. Mm, I don't remember. And you? <laughs> I was the uh, uh, read the, the Bible and different uh, book uh, layers. No me acuerdo cómo se Langer, algo así, creo que Lau. Lau. Okay. Question three. Do you like to cook? I don't like because... because um, but I have cooked today. <laughs> all day. Okay. Uh, I buy the fast food. Mm. Sometimes. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. And you cook? Uh, in my case, I like cook. Oh. Because wow. uh, my food is prepared for my hands. It's delicious. It. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's your favorite food? 
my favorite food is beans and cheese. <laughs> okay. In my case, it's the cheese. It's really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the tortilla tostada in the Brussels. Yes. When are you do the cooking, swimming, etc.? No. Are you married or single? I marry. Oh. You? Yes, marry. Okay. Do you have brother and sister? Yes, I have one brother and four sisters. And In you? my case, three brothers and four sisters. Oh, no contrary. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are they older or younger than you? ¿Qué quiere decir eso? ¿Qué tan joven o qué tan viejo estás? <laughs> ah. Están. Ah, se refiere a ellos, creo yo, a los hermanos o hermanas. Si son más jóvenes o más mayores que usted. Eh, sí, es cierto, podría ser. Eh, o younger. My sister Junge and my brother older. Uh, in my case, only brother, only brother is younger and uh, one sister younger. <laughs> Do you like basketball? No. I don't practice export, sport and you? Why do you practice sport? I, I, anytime. <laughs> I don't sera, sera, sera. <laughs> I no believe, I no believe this. <laughs> In my case, yes, I like, but, uh, is no favorite deport. Okay. Do you live alone? No. I live with my family, my husband oh. and my daughter. And oh. you? I live my wife. Only? Yes. Wow. In my house. Good. Yes. Do you live in a house or an apartment? House. And you? House. Too. Okay. <laughs> I have to ever live in another country? No, never. In my case, only El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> you feel that El Salvador. <laughs> okay. Had you ever met a famous person? Nah, never. <laughs> How do you spend your free time? Ah. Uh... I who likes homework. <laughs> <laughs> Not um, funny. <laughs> okay. In my case, I eh, tampoco cada vez que tenga eso. Oh, John. Eh, solo trabajo. How Mm. Okay. How long have you been studying English? ¿Qué quiere decir eso? ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuánto tiempo? tiempo tiene estudiando inglés? 
uh, alrededor de, de un año, around a year. In you? Como digo, un año y medio. Como casi dos. Uh, no, no sé cómo se dice año y medio. Chir, en. Almost Chir, monks. One year and six months. <laughs> How old are you? Uh, Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have Sorry? 33 years old. Oh, I guess you can see. 27 years old. 33 years old. Yes. Six years. No. In my case, three months, which 11 days. <laughs> wow. And you have honeymoon. Yeah, yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you have the boys. What? You have the children or boys? I have um uh como se dice niña? Gips. I have girl. Oh, she four it's good. years old. It's good. <laughs> yes. In my case, no. I mm -hmm. haven't. I it's haven't. I've been to. How tall are you? Mm, my tall is. One hundred. Quiero ver cómo se dice. Ciento sesenta. Y continue with English class. Te toca pesado. Sí. Yes. ¿Y por qué no pide permiso a inglés corporativo para solo entrar a la clase que se grabe? Y la ve cuando tenga chance y hace la plataforma para estudiarla, la clase. Se podrá hacer. Digo yo, para que no le pierda. Ah. I think so. For you not to lose. Or, or, or other shell. Or other what? Maybe send message, message, uh, okay, wait. Search the name. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a possibility, I think. Nicole Najarro. I, uh -huh. I, I didn't about it. Send message, send message. Uh, Nicola Harro, maybe she helped you. Engagement. Ah, engagement. Okay, mm -hmm. 
Bah, tell me about our favorite event of your adulthood. ¿Qué es eso? Adulthood, ¿qué es eso? ¿A dónde vamos? Adulthood es tu vida de adulto. Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Espérame, eh, me perdí. No, no, yo por... Eh, there was another time. Ok. Uh, because it's very, very, uh, it's very heavy for my, my class of the university. And it's your last cycle. Right. Serious. In the <laughs> Netflix. The... <laughs> Another. This is the end uh, of In the class of the university. Monday to Monday of. Uh, to Friday. Mm -hmm. All the five days out of the week. Last the Monday is in the 4.30 p.m. And Tuesday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Yes, it's a bit heavy. Saturday is everything. Every day. Every day. In in the in the class. Yes, eight a.m. to to. <laughs> What do you do on Sundays? I have take care of my daughter and rely homework only. <laughs> oh. And you? Um, on this Sunday, I visit my Mom, then I buy supermarket. Nothing. What do you do? What's your job? Uh, my job is in the uh, assistant analyst, the import export. ¿De qué? Import, export, de exportaciones. Oh. All right, guys, we are going to change partners. We are going to change partners. I'm going to give you new questions. Are you ready? Ready? Yes. Change partners. No Spanish. Let's go.
Uh, sex with my friends. Oh, in my case, I like watch series in the Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> what hobbies what? do you have? My hobby is play basketball. Okay. What series you see in the Netflix? I watch series Poriana. Poriana. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like the dramas. Poriana. Uh, I like series uh, action or anime. Mm. Okay. What is nearest bus stop or train station to your house? I don't, don't understand this. Wait. Mm. Estaciones del, del bus están cerca de su casa. Cuadra que ver. A one block, maybe, o more. Oh, so, okay. The first, uh, the first nearest bus stop. Okay. What is your religion? Uh, Catholic. In my case, it's Catholic too. <clears throat> what is moral? Lema significa. Mm. Okay. Como... Como la gente que dice, hay que vivir hoy como que si fuese el último día. <laughs> in your case, in, what is your motto? I don't. <laughs> what, what kind I... of food? Ah, perdón, okay. What kind what... of food do you like? I like pupusas, I like pizza, I like mm, sopa de patas. Food. China food? Mm, more or less. My favorite food is China <laughs> food. <laughs> And pupus. <laughs> it's normal. Yes. For a Salvadorian people. Mm -hmm. What kind of people do you not like? Como permítame. Es respectful, es como irrespetuoso. Mm. 
No sé cómo se dice metido. I'm sorry. Entrometido quizás. Ah, ok. Da, da. Busy noise, no sí. Dirty. Dirty, creo que se dice. Tipo. No. Dirty people. No sí. Light people. <laughs> Mousy adjective metiches. Chambroso. Diri. Diro. Diri vivo. Ok. ¿Cuál es la siguiente pregunta? What language do you speak? The Spanish language. Uh, but learning English. And you? Spanish. Simple. What two times could do you? One hundred percent and it's English. Maybe 30, 40 percent. When did you start to study English? Mm. Where did you start to study English? Mm. ¿Dónde comencé a estudiar inglés? Mm -hmm. In the school. Mm. Where. Um, In the school. Okay. And you? Where do you live? I live in Hilo Vasco. And you? I live in Soyapango, in San Salvador. Okay. Soya es peligroso. <laughs> no. Yes. Ya no. Mm. How long have you lived there? Uh, 30 years? 30? No. Um, Maybe. Okay, Gusto, puede ser. Hola. All right, all right, guys. Time's up. Time's up. Please pay attention to your WhatsApp groups because we're going to be telling you about the next module in the WhatsApp group. Okay, okay teacher. All right. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Take care. You too. Take care. Enjoy. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. All right, guys, time's up. Time to go. We'll let you know on the next level on the WhatsApp group. 
Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, Kevin. Bye -bye. Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye bye. Teacher, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye bye.